Greetings once again to the VD Gems community. Here, you will have the opportunity to access exclusive, top tier NFTs through the VD application, a channel I refer to as VD Gems. This presentation will demonstrate the quantitative analytics of the top 10 most undervalued comics on the VD app, revealing pockets of value through specific analytic parameters. Additionally, it will provide guidance on how to make the most of your gems, as there are more than 27,000 Marvel comics in existence, yet only less than 200 are currently available on the VV app. Finally, it will assist you in strategizing your next moves. Today, I will present to you the 10 most undervalued comics on VV, in addition to the portfolio tracker and VV statistics for week 36. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only and is not intended to be financial advice. I will be discussing the VV Weekly Statistics Snapshot in greater detail later in the video. This table illustrates the cost per MCP point in gems. Values under 7 gems are generally considered a good deal. Some particularly noteworthy comics to consider include the rare variants of Avengers number 4. Tales of Suspense number 45. The data in this table reveals the amount of supply still available on the market for the top 10 undervalued comics on VV. When the supply is less than 0.5% of the total editions minted, it is likely that prices will be sustained at these levels, making them ideal for long-term investments. It is worth noting that the market currently has a relatively high percentage of supply available for purchase in comparison to the other comics for the following comics. Journey into Mystery No. 83 Amazing Spider-Man No. 2 Tales of Suspense No. 45 This is because these comics were recently released and the supply has not yet been fully absorbed by the market. As a result, these comics are a fantastic investment opportunity in the long term as they also currently rank in the top 10 undervalued comics list. This table illustrates the potential for price appreciation of the comics, with any percentage over 300 being considered a good value. For those interested in the secret rare comics, we can observe negative percentages indicating that these comics are priced too high and are expected to decrease in value. Conversely, comics with positive percentages suggests that they are likely to increase in price. The methodology used to determine the percent upside potential takes into account a purely quantitative approach and does not factor in any hype, MCU potential, exclusive covers, or marketing activity from Vivi. The analysis is based on the in-real-life, IRL, values of the comics. The goal is to provide weekly updates on the top 10 undervalued comics, using the comics common variant min size and current market price as a basis for extrapolation, and assuming efficient market prices and minimal botting activity. This table provides an analysis of the top 10 most undervalued comics in terms of their current prices. A good value is generally considered to be 7 gems or less. Notable comics on the list include the common and uncommon variants of Avengers No. 4 Tales of Suspense No. 45 I'm excited to share a preview of my VV collection with you. Later in the video, I'll demonstrate how you can easily browse through my collection on the VV app. This table provides an overview of the total editions minted for the top 10 comics on the list. The first column displays the number of common variant editions, followed by the uncommon, rare, ultra-rare, and secret rare variants. The rarity multiples on the right side of the table indicate the relative rarity of each variant compared to the common variant. For example, Marvel Comics No. 1 has an uncommon variant that is 8 times rarer than the common variant, 
meaning there are 8 common editions for each uncommon edition, 16 common editions for each rare edition, 20 common editions for each ultra rare edition, and 80 common editions for each secret rare edition. The final column displays the aggregate number of copies minted for each comic book, regardless of rarity. This week's addition to the investor portfolio is represented by this table, which displays the top 10 undervalued comics sorted from most to least undervalued, along with the variance and current prices. At the bottom, we have the total amount invested for the week. This table displays the price performance of the investment in the 10 comics chosen last week. We can see the top 10 undervalued comics, their variance, the prices from last week and today, the change in gems for the week, and the percentage change for each comic. Altogether, we have experienced a gain of 10.9 gems in the week, which is a positive 5% return. This table illustrates the cumulative performance of the investor portfolio over the past 35 weeks. Examining week number 35, we can observe that 23,597 gems have been invested thus far, with a current value of 17,792, resulting in a total loss of 5,805 gems, or a negative 24.6% return over the period of 35 weeks. This table displays the breakdown of the 350 comics that have been invested in, which is equivalent to 10 comics per week over the last 35 weeks. This table shows the variance and quantities of each comic held in the portfolio. Some standout comics that make up a significant portion of the portfolio include Amazing Fantasy No. 15 Amazing Spider-Man No. 1 Fantastic Four No. 1 Fantastic Four No. 12 Fantastic Four No. 5 Journey into Mystery No. 83 Journey into Mystery No. 1 Marvel Comics No. 1 Surgeon Fury No. 1 Strange Tales No. 110 And Tales to Astonish No. 13 This table displays Vivi's weekly social media statistics, with week number 36 at the bottom. In this week, Vivi experienced a decrease of 240 Twitter followers, no change on Discord, a loss of 9 Facebook members, and a decrease of 324 Instagram followers. Overall, over the course of the last 36 weeks, Vivi has lost 7,077 Twitter followers, a 2.9% decrease, 6,000 Discord followers, a 5.3% decrease, lost 374 Facebook members, a 1.2% decrease, and lost 12,369 Instagram followers, a 10% decrease. It seems that Vivi has been experiencing a decline in social media engagement, which may be due to a combination of economic difficulties and the oversaturation of token production, as well as a lack of marketing efforts. To maintain value and attract more users in these challenging times, it is essential for NFTs to offer practical value and real-world utility in addition to being collectible items. This table illustrates the weekly VD Immuta skin stats on the blockchain. Examining week number 36 at the bottom of the table, we can observe that Vivi has created 20,488 new tokens and lost 749 unique owners during the same period, resulting in a tokens minted to unique owners, TMO, ratio of 12.46. We must take into account account merging, as it can cause skewed results until it is completed. We are awaiting an update from Vivi on when the account merging process will be finished. I will keep you informed as soon as I have further information. The TMO ratio reflects the average number of tokens minted per unique owner. If we trace this ratio back to week number 1, we can see that it has been steadily increasing from 10.8 in July 2022 to 12.46 today. Generally, if this ratio continues to rise, it suggests that the new unique owners are unable to keep up with the large amount of new token minting which could lead to a sideways or downward trend in the values of your collectibles. This chart illustrates VV's growth parameters over the last 35 weeks. Tokens minted represented by the blue line have increased by 15.5%, while unique owners have grown by nearly 1.2%.
Unfortunately, Twitter followers have decreased by 3%, Discord followers have dropped by 5.5%, and Instagram followers have declined by 10.5%. Overall, the only positive growth is in tokens minted and unique owners, with the token minting growth far surpassing the unique owner's growth. Conversely, all social media metrics have experienced negative growth during this same period. I have conducted a recent poll among 381 active members of Vivi's audience, it has been revealed that 86.4% of Vivi's user base joined the platform in the year 2021. This suggests that very few new users have been added in 2022 and 2023, which is concerning as it indicates that Vivi is heavily reliant on its 2021 users to drive the sales of its never-ending drops. This, in turn, could result in a recirculation of funds within the app leading to a loss of value in collectibles. To better understand if Vivi is implementing effective marketing strategies to prevent the devaluation of collectibles for its existing user base, similar polls will be conducted periodically. It's worth noting that a sample size of 381 votes is considered statistically significant and has a low margin of error, thereby increasing the reliability and accuracy of the poll results. The economy is in a recession and this has had a direct impact on social media metrics, with numbers trending downwards. A concerning trend is that on average, token minting far exceeds unique owners' growth, meaning that the same people are receiving more and more tokens, while the number of new, unique owners is not keeping up. This could have negative impact on the value of your collectibles in the short term. In the long term, the success of Vivi is highly dependent on the growth of collectors, as this is key to the values of collectibles. To add long-term value, token utility is required. Additionally, the economy may rebound late 2023 and 2024, and as a result, the TMO ratio should at least stabilize, or even better reverse its upward trend to sustain values. Furthermore, social media following should reverse its downward trend once the economy rebounds. By visiting my Patreon page, you can access the top 50 comics ranking on Vivi, rather than just the top 10 comics featured in this video. This ranking can be used to identify which comics in your portfolio have the greatest potential for growth, as well as which comics may be overvalued, based on the analysis techniques demonstrated in this video. By staying up to date with the weekly updates on this channel, you can ensure that you are always making the most informed decisions when it comes to your comic investments. I'm excited to share with you a glimpse of my collection on the VV app. If you're interested in getting a closer look, feel free to follow me on the VV app by searching for the Avengers logo edition number 100, which is part of the Disney Golden Moments brand. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. As you know from my previous videos, I always make sure to respond to each and every one of them. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with my weekly updates on the top 10 undervalued comics on Vivi. Thank you for watching, and happy collecting!